Hey guys, Too Legit City here. Today we're going to be going over an Oni Basic, the standard liquid lock, why you're going to want it, how to build one of these liquid locks, and how you could use this to your advantage. Now, of course, the standard design for the liquid lock is as shown. This 5x6 box type is your standard design. The idea is your duplicates, if they're going into the box or coming out of the box, you have to go in through the liquid pool. And because of how elements work in this game, the liquids are going to prevent any of the gases from coming in. Whereas if you were to have a door right here, there'd be a little bit of gas exchange from the gas on this side and the gas on this side. Now we are bringing up the gas overlay. You can see that there's actually no gas in here. And in a vacuum, the gases are going to be looking to expand in a vacuum as much as possible. Meaning that if you don't have a liquid lock, there's going to be a way for gas to leak in. And sometimes you don't want the gases to leak in or mix in or have it really much just go inside. Sometimes you want to maintain a vacuum and having a liquid lock is how you could do so. Now, this is the standard design. This doesn't mean this is a, the only design, as the idea is your duplicates need two tile space to move through, and they could climb up and down the tile space, so they're gonna be able to go through the liquid lock without having to allow gas to go through. Well, that's your standard liquid lock. You could see the basic idea is to have liquids on these tiles. It doesn't matter what type of liquid. Now, there is the polluted water that will off-gas, so I would recommend not using that as off-gassing reduces the mass of the water, and that may cause problems in the long run, and not only that, you usually, if you want to make a vacuum, avoid anything that off-gasses. Now, to build it, it's very straightforward. You would just build the design and then put a bottle emptier facing the middle, either from this side or this side, add in your liquid of choice, and then fill it up to get your liquid lock. After you have enough, you're just gonna be able to just turn it off and you're gonna be able to move in and out. Now, if you need additional control, maybe you don't want certain duplicates to come into here, you could easily put a pneumatic door inside or outside to prevent certain duplicates from going in and out if that's what you wanna do. But that's the liquid lock. Now, typically the purpose of having the liquid lock though is to control the gas pressure a lot of times what you may run into in the game is you might dig out too much and then a lot of your gases runs thin because of how gases work they're going to want to expand and fill up every crevice and every open spot as much as they can and by doing so will reduce your volume so Having a lot of space dug out means your oxygen grows thinner, meaning you have to actually generate more total oxygen to increase the amount of oxygen per tile. Now, that means that if you were to make a box that was more constrained like this, it'd be a lot easier and faster to fill up with oxygen. In the early game, one of the things you're going to want to do is to explore in oxygen not included. And if you would put a liquid lock around your base, it makes it so that you could easily supply your colony with oxygen without having to fill out other areas. Like over here, the oxygen could leak out, but there's no real point of having oxygen here. Whereas my duplicates are breathing on this side, I have to fill up this space which means that I have to produce that much more oxygen. So if I were to put a liquid lock here, I wouldn't have to fill this up anymore, making it so that I would have to produce less. This is how you're going to be able to control gas pressure inside of your base and even potentially outside. Now, of course, that's the reasoning why you would want to do that, but there are a lot of more reasons to use it. Sometimes you want to have separate gas rooms. Sometimes you want to have heat, not actually be able to come out. As you can see right here, we create a vacuum with the door set up so that the heat inside my spawn box does not leak out and I don't have to deal with it. How to make a, another variation of the liquid lock for exploration. Now, this is going to be how to tap something, specifically maybe a chlorine vent or a natural gas vent. You might have a bubble of that with a geyser in the middle and it's about five kilograms per tile and you want to go inside that room without breaking and allowing any of the natural gas out. So this is going to be the trick. And what you're going to want to do is if you have a wall like this in the natural wild, you would want to build these two tiles and build the bottle emptier like so. 
after you do that, you're going to want to drip out some water, doesn't matter what it is, just nothing that off gases, please. And have that spill. You don't need a lot, you just need to have a drop to fill up this tile. If you have more and it spills out, you can just mop it up. And Hatchling over here is going to be delivering the oil. Now, what we're going to want to do is drip out a little bit of water, but we could empty out the entire contents if you would like to. I'm just going to drip out a little bit and we'll show you how to do that. So, as you can see right here, we get the uh, bottle of crude oil and we pause the game after we get a drop. You could see that we dropped about 3.7 kilograms and we're just going to quickly uncheck the crude oil and nothing's going to be released anymore. Now, the next step is going to be... Now that we have this tile with a liquid on it, we could deconstruct this tile and the tile below it. That's the reasoning for this tile and the tiles below it, as it allows for us to have a tile of a liquid here. It might spill, but it's going to maintain the lock on this tile. All right. As you can see, blarp blarp very quickly deconstructed the tiles and bringing up the gas overlay. You can see that this is still a vacuum. This is going to be the easiest way for you to tap into an environment that you do not want to allow gas transfer for happening. Now, very easily, you could mop up the liquid here. Just make sure you don't mop up this tile, as this tile is what's stopping the oxygen from flowing in. But that is the basic standard lock and the bonus, how to tap something while exploring. So if you guys have any questions about this, leave a comment down below. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, guys.